This right here, out of all cobra species found in Africa, is the most venomous. And bites are often fatal. So this snake right here is highly neurotoxic and it moves away. You see that? So they're not coming for me. You see, I'm right here. Snake, I'm here. I'm gonna tell you what, one of the most beautiful snakes on the planet. And as long as you avoid them, as long as you try to get away from them, move back slowly, you will never, ever, ever have a problem with a snake like this. And welcome to South Africa. This is a home of Nadja Nivea, also known as the Cape Cobra. And this snake right here is the number three most venomous snake in Africa. Today, we're gonna to get it out of this bucket and we're gonna have a look at it. Because in this area here, in the Limpopo area, the snake will not be found. As the name suggests, it's mainly home to Southern South Africa in the Cape area. So, this right here, out of all cobra species found in Africa, is the most venomous, okay? The snake is only surpassed, as far as its venom is concerned, by the legendary black mamba on place two and the bombslung on number one, the most venomous snake in Africa. Now the Cape Cobra is very, very notorious for its defensive behavior. Here we go, let's check this out. Woo, look at the colors on this one. Isn't it just magnificent? And tries to get away there quick. You see that? Doesn't stand its ground. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna put it here in the shadows because it's a very warm day today. You can see it's very active. Let's see if it stays in its place. Come on, buddy. Okay, it doesn't want to stay here. Looks like there. Let's do this. All right. Now here it is. Now we can have a better look at it. At the legendary Cape Cobra. Now interesting about this species is its color. So they come in lots of different colorations. And this one right here is beautiful, like a greenish yellow with speckled spots on it. But they also come in black as well as a brown coloration. So it depends on the region, the coloration is very uh, different. Now this is one of the smaller cobra species. And they can average about um, 1 meter 20, 1 meter 40 in length. And um, unfortunately, though, a lot of people in the Cape area get bitten by the species right here. And bites are often fatal. So this snake right here is highly neurotoxic, which means that the venom will affect your nervous system, okay? So the way you're going to die is because of respiratory failure. And death can occur in just one hour, sometimes about two hours, three hours, depending on many factors. For example, how much venom the snake injects, but also where the snake bites, like bites in the upper body or head are very, very bad because you can't get a uh, pressure bandage around. And even though it bites on the arm or on the leg, which it 99% uh, of the cases does, the venom is very, very rapidly um, absorbed by the body's tissue, which is very unfortunate as some people actually die before they can actually get anti-venom for the species right here. Now they of course um, prey on rats and mice, but they might as well also take down anything else that they can swallow, any other mammal like moles or also birds. And now this is a great demonstration. You see it's very active. It's about 38 degrees here outside. And um, like all reptiles, they're cold blooded, which means that they need to get their body temperature up to uh, be able to move properly. Now it's just trying to get away from me here. You can see that. It doesn't like to be out in the open because every predator, like birds of prey or um, any other um, animal that will usually prey on the snake, like mongoose, they will try to prey on it right here in the open. So the snake doesn't want to be here. So they're not coming for me. You see, I'm right here. Snake, I'm here. It cannot even hear me. It's death. But it sees me. It knows I'm here. And it moves away. You see that? It moves away, completely away from me. It's not biting me. And right now it's completely relaxed, not showing me any defensive display. Like all cobras, they spread a hood. Look at this one, it's calmed down now. There's no hood, it's relaxed. You see, it's relaxing with me right now. And I'm gonna tell you what, one of the most beautiful snakes on the planet, as well as deadly, and there you can see a little bit of a hood. 
and that is a defensive display, not an aggressive behavior. Okay, let it go here. And of course, as you can see, without the hood, they look just like a normal snake. Beautiful one. And the interesting fact, as I said earlier, the Latin name for the species is Nagia nivea. And nivea is like a body lotion brand, right? So I call this snake Nagia nivea because of the shine and of the color. So you can see the coloration of the snake. It's not only very beautiful, but it's very shiny. So people gave it the name Nagia nivea because of the shine of its scales. Can you see that? The reflection of the sun. No snake is ever wet. Not even slimy. It's just a reflection of the sun on the scales that you can see. And look at this one. Absolutely magnificent. The Cape Cobra. One of the most beautiful snakes in the world. One of the smaller cobra species by by far the most venomous, venomous species that you can find here in Africa. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful snake. So if you're ever in the Cape area and you encounter a snake like this, the best thing for you is just stand still. They don't have a good eyesight. So snakes, they rely on movement. So if I move a lot like this, <laughs> now it doesn't even defend itself anymore. It doesn't spread a hood because it's calm. But um, what they usually do is they spread a hood and they stand the ground. And as long as you avoid them, as long as you try to get away from them, move back slowly, you will never, ever, ever have a problem with a snake like this, okay? They only bite you if you try to catch or kill. So never do that. Always stay out of their way. Leave them alone, they will leave you alone. Beautiful snake, just enjoy the color. We should rather have more respect for these animals rather than fear. This is why I'm here, this is why you're watching this, because I want to educate you on these animals. I want to show you their true behavior and I want to show you what to do when encountering them so you're not going to be one of those people that are going to be bitten and um, everyone's going to see in the news, oh, another guy got bitten because that's um, bad. That is what spreads the bad news about snakes and that is why their reputation is just so bad because people just don't understand them. The Cape Cobra. I'm gonna put it back in its bucket now. It's pretty warm on the outside here. Come on, buddy. Ooh, check this out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. One of the most incredible snakes in the world, the Cape Cobra.